I'm calling for emergency family shelter. I have two twins. My family is in emergency need of housing. I'm a single father with a 14-year-old daughter looking for a place. Yes, my name is Crystal, and I'm homeless. I have three children. Hi, my name is Charlie. We are faced with an eviction. I have uh, two children. Um, I lost a job, got laid off. Um, I am four and a half months pregnant. And I'm calling about uh, emergency shelter for me and my two-and-a-half-year-old son. I have four kids, and yes, I'm looking for shelter. If you can give me a call back at your earliest convenience, that'd be great. Thanks. How severe is child homelessness in your area? We see very young children. Um, you know, I say that we more than half, and, and, and last year it was about 60% of our, of our people were, were kids. But the vast majority of those kids are 10 years old or, or younger. We have seen a tremendous influx in families. And the majority of our statistics show that most of the children who come into the network are under the age of five years old. We also have a pretty good number of uh, two-parent families, uh, and they can, they can have one little baby all the way up to uh, folks who just moved out uh, or mom and dad who had four kids. We're seeing a number of families who call us who are homeless due to foreclosure. And these are, these are families who've probably never experienced this before, who don't know how to navigate the social services system, uh, and who are not taking advantage of circumstances. They are simply trying to find their way. In Charlotte, Child Care Resources has a waiting list of about three years. The people make seven to eight dollars an hour and if um, on an income like that you cannot afford seven or eight hundred dollars in rent and utilities and to feed your children and to get your children in daycare I mean there's so many significant barriers what was your perception of homeless people before the IHN program maybe a family of people that were not in the best clothes and were kind of hungry and just living on the streets you know um. It's when you don't, if you don't have a home and you're out on the streets and you don't have anyone to take care of you. The stereotypes in the media that I saw was looking down on them and seeing that they weren't, I don't know, not up to standard or what society thought was right. Gosh, my definition of being homeless would be, how did I feel? Scared, hopeless. Abandoned. Um, it was really scary. <laughs> Since volunteering at IHN, what is your perception of homeless people now? And the reality is that it's, it's more kids, it's more families, it's more people that maybe have had a, a bad break or a couple of bad breaks or bad decisions that have just totally floored their lives and just pulled the rug out from underneath them. It's, it's like real family. It's like just basically exactly the same. Not, no different, just fell in a bad situation. I thought it was really cool just to meet a lot of the kids because you realize that they're just kids like everybody else, but they just happen not to have a home, which is unfortunate. Just as the people just seem like people that you work with or, you know, that you go to church with, they just, you know, they just seem like us. <laughs> so how did the IHN program change your life? I got my apartment that I'm still in. I'm still living there. Uh, went to school, finished school, got got a job, and I'm doing all right now. Just stay on the path. They've definitely kept us off the streets um, from sleeping in our car. You know, um, we're not just looking for handouts. We're really in a tough situation and need help and. When that help is given, and we're on that solid foundation that CQ's IHN gives us, we give back, and it's that gift that just keeps on giving. Going and getting the key the other day, and looking back to where, where we were versus to where we are, I did not know what to do. 
And it was just like, my kids finally have their own room. And I was just like, oh my goodness. I've just gotten a lot more done and I'm really grateful for the resources that uh, Interfaith is uh, put in my lap, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, it's just been really good for, for me and my son. And I think that it's helped my children become better people. Um, it definitely teaches them respect and true selflessness. It's the most amazing thing I have ever gone through in my life. So why is it so important to be involved in this program? The gratification of knowing that you spent like two hours of your night and you helped someone out a lot. The longer I've done it, the, the more families I've come to know and grown attached to and I, it's like you don't want to lose touch with them and you're happy that they're moving on, but you don't want them to. <laughs> Not only is it fun, but you know you've done something right and that has helped someone else have a good day. We don't realize, hey, wow, we've got a great home. We've got a, like, we always have food. We always granted. have warmth. Yeah, we take it for granted. But I mean, they, they can be completely and like fully grateful for just the littlest acts of kindness. But right after I leave, after volunteering for a night, I kind of look at myself and go, wow, I'm lucky. And just seeing those little smiles on their faces or seeing the smiles on the parents' faces when they see their kids having fun, I don't know, something about that just makes me happy. When you think of the word home, what comes to mind? Um, well, there's a plaque that you might see that says, home is where your story begins. And I guess I agree with that. It's not like in a certain place, it's just wherever your family is and your friends are. But home is sort of just anywhere you sort of feel comfortable. A place you can pretty much call, you know, you time, you know, you can get your own bedroom and stuff. You're like, I'm going home. Home is like, somewhere that you live and people appreciate that you're actually there. A home is the heart of the house. The house is a material thing, but the home is the environment within the house. Home to me is really a place where you can feel loved. Home means to me having my family with me and enjoying ourselves. A good place for me to be. Every child deserves to be healthy, to be educated, to be housed, and to be hopeful. 